so right now I am headed towards the gym we're gonna do legs today and one thing you might notice uh, that's a little off is that I shaved my legs I mean, I'll try and show you guys but uh, right now it's like hairless which is weird because if you see like a clip before I'll try to find a clip before of like my legs and then see how hairy they are but um yeah right now it's not the first time I shaved them but it, it still feels weird when I do uh, I just wanted to see where my legs were four weeks out and I know it's gonna the hair is gonna go back quick quickly by then so I'm gonna have to shave it again later but next time I'm gonna do it with the razor because this time I only did it with the hair clipper at the lowest setting so it's not that comfortable it's like itchy well not itchy but like scruffy feeling if you know what I mean but you guys will see how they look when I start legs so I'll see you guys there all right here's just a look a quick look at my legs you can tell how like bare they look I, I feel naked even though I'm not but look at this all right so I just got done with the workout uh, we started off doing deadlifts uh, four sets of five try to get uh, as heavy as you can but not like trying to reach a new PR because I'm not trying to risk injury and with that being said today is the last day I do deadlifts because I've been feeling like a lot of strain in my lower back and I don't want to risk any injury because of I did deadlifts so I'd rather do more isolate, uh, isolated movements for hamstrings and do that but after we did the four sets to five up the way down to like 135 and I did stiff legged deadlifts for three sets of 10 to 12 and some of the reps I did eccentric and some of the reps I did did normal I kind of just felt it out the way to, until I felt like the hamstring being worked but after that we moved on to leg press and we did the same thing as we did last week and we just went, went for about 100 reps so it didn't matter how many sets we did as long as we did 100 reps so got that done so choose the weight that you can feel like you can do a whole 100 reps with the first 20 might feel a little easy but then at 50 reps you'll be able to tell oh if, you, if it's too much weight or if it's too light and from then just based on like adding more weight or lose uh, take off the weight but yeah, after that we moved on to I moved on to uh, laying hamstring curl and did five sets of 10 to 12 and then we finished the workout with a superset on the calves uh, the seated and standing calf raise but we started with the standing and they did about four sets 10 to 12 on there and then went on to the seated calf raise for another four sets of 10 to 12 and that was pretty much the end of the workout and now I gotta go to Walmart because I bought a shirt there just like a sleeveless shirt just this is how long this like the shoulder width is but it said fitted so I figured it will be like tapered towards the side but then I put it on at home and it's like a compression shirt which I hate those because like super tight and I don't know I just, I just don't like those shirts I'm gonna go return that and I'll see you guys after all right so what I picked up from Walmart is a pair of swim shorts because the last time I went I wore like my old basketball shorts and it wasn't like that great so I picked some up because I'm gonna be trying to use I'm gonna try to swim more often than just for the competition I'm trying to use it throughout the whole summer so I kind of enjoy the swimming it's kind of like relaxing uh, whatever so picked some of that then I picked up just a random shirt just to wear to the gym and then it's like one of my typical ones but a different color and then I picked up uh, three types of power crunch bars I couldn't choose the difference between I couldn't choose whether I wanted chocolate or vanilla so I got both I figured might as well just get all three now so I don't have to go back later in the store and get it so that's what I picked up from Walmart and now I'm back home and I'm about to relax chill with the family and go swimming later all right so right now we're at the pool it's just me and Sachin oh, what's up? <laughs> and we're gonna do a couple laps around here and that'll be cardio All right, guys, right now I'm about to go do a push workout with Alan. I got one and a half scoops of C4 now and uh, just one scoop of creatine. This week's gonna be the last week I do creatine. I'll talk about that later next week. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm taking one and a half scoops today because I kind of want to max out on bench. The reason why I don't want to go too heavy on like squat and deadlift is because my lower back and legs are always sore right now. And so I don't want to put a lot more strain on them because if I strain my lower back, I feel like I can't do much. And then it's just gonna like, take me out for a couple of days I don't want to do that so feeling I feel like maxing out on bench is gonna be a little bit safer and not as risky so that's what I feel like doing and I gotta make training fun still so that's the goal so if I I'm gonna see if I can get I have a set number in my mind of what I want to hit but you'll see in the gym so I'll see you guys there
All right, so as you just saw, I was able to hit 275 on the bench press, which is my all-time max. And I know my ass kind of went off the bench just a little bit, but I'm going to take it because, again, it's my all-time max. And being able to hit that again, it's like great news that my strength in my chest is still there, regardless of dropping like about 13, 14 pounds. So I'm happy about that. And I think the last time I hit that, though, I was only maybe five to seven pounds heavier than what I am now. But still, I'm, I'll take it. And I tried to hit 285, but then you didn't see that because obviously I failed. And so, I mean, obviously the, the rest of the workout was pretty damn good because I was able to hit 275 and match my previous max. And so I, from that, you know, I'm just, I'm happy that, again, my ha I'm happy just my strength's still there. But now I'm gonna focus more, again, on volume than strength for the next three, three and a half weeks. But yeah, I'm gonna conclude the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.